So anyhow, let's get started. Feet are nice and wide apart, slight toe out position. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, open out, interlace behind the back, chest out, chin up, inhale. And then exhale, round the back, spread the shoulder blades apart, tuck the chin to the chest. So let's do all that again. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, open out, interlace behind the back, chest out, chin up, inhale. And then exhale, scoop the belly in, round the spine, spread the shoulders apart. One more, inhale up. Exhale, breath out. Interlace, chest out, chin up, inhale. And then exhale, scoop the belly in, tuck the tail, spread the shoulders apart as you reach forwards. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, reach for the floor and then back up to the top. So we go down up for eight. Inhale, exhale, seven. One more. Good. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, open out. We're going to lunge it from side to side here, reaching the arms over the head. Left, right, up and up. Nice lengthening in the lateral torso here. Every time that arm goes up. Good, and then inhale, arms up. Exhale, open out. Side to side lunge, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, inhale up again, exhale, open out. Now this time reach across the front, across the front. So nice upper back stretch there. Four, three, two, one, inhale, arms up, exhale, open out. Here we go, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last time. Let's go, inhale up, exhale, open out, eight of these. Four and three and two and one. Now this time, inhale, arms up. Exhale, open out, hands on those quads. Shoulder drops, lift, switch sides, shoulder drops and lift. One more. Good, now toes forwards. You're gonna lunge nice and deep and then pop that chest up. Inhale, side lunge and then exhale, pop it up. You're gonna reach right in front of the foot. Your hand to the quad, hand in front of the foot. Back to the quad a little faster. Eight of these, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now come over here to the right and stay a while and just press into that hip. Eight and seven, six, five, four, Three, two, stay there on one. And then come all the way up, inhale. Exhale, come over here, hang out. And then little presses into the hips. Eight, seven, six, five, and four, three. This leg is super straight, two. So you stretch that inner thigh, one. And then up, inhale. And then one more time here. Eight, and seven, Six. You don't have to be that low. You can be up here if you want. Four, three, two, one. Inhale up. And then last time over here, it's eight little presses into that hip. And we can be up high if you want. Four more. Three, two, one. Inhale up. And then exhale. Roll your shoulders around and walk your feet together here. Parallel, toes straight ahead, slow squat, down, 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 down. Stand up nice and tall and squeeze your bum. Inhale, breath, push those hips back. Exhale, breath up. Two more. Squat, stand up, and squat, stand up. Now alternate knee lifts up and up. One curl, one straight arm press back, and up, and up. High knees lift. And we go, eight, and seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Step it out wide, lift your foot up. A little rotation in the hip, stretching into those glutes. 
specifically your piriformis muscle, a little active dynamic stretch there. Four more, three, two, one. Now tap your toes wide, press the arms back, press back, open up through the chest and press, press. Four, three, two. Now last one, hamstring curls. Try to pull the heel up to the buttocks. So we wanna warm the body up sufficiently so that when we get into the workout with the weights, your body is fully prepared. Blood is flowing, heart is pumping. And we've gone through all those sort of joint actions to prepare the body for what's to come later. Four, three, two, one. All right, shake it out, shake it out. Shoulders roll around. So I'm gonna show you what's called a goblet squat. <clears throat> Again, you can do it with a dumbbell. I'm gonna start with my light pink dumbbell. So the handle here allows you to hold it like that, just a little more comfortable ergonomically, but like I said, you can just simply hold a dumbbell. So I want you to hold it right here in front of the body, and then you're gonna squat. Legs are quite wide apart. So we go down, up, down, up. <clears throat> so we're going to do four more like that. Three, two, one. Now you're going to go down and do little pulses in the low zone. So we go eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to just full blown, full range, four of them. Three and two. And one. Now eight pulses in the low zone. However, if you would like every other one, do a little bit of a jump up, not much. Just get some air under the feet. So it's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then back down and up, full range for four. Down up three, down up two and down up one, and then eight pulses again. You can jump every other or every one. Here we go. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and then full range up, down four, three, and two, and one. Good job. All right, walk your feet together. Shake out your legs a little bit. Kick, kick, kick. Okay, and then set that down. I want you to get, I have three sets of weights here. So I want you to get your lightest set, whatever you've got. I've got 10, 15s and 20s here today, as well as my little kettlebells. Okay, so basic squat, feet hip width apart here, shoulders back and down, tighten up in the buttocks. Every time you stand up, you wanna come right here. So bring that chin back, shoulders back, nice long spine. Ready, go, inhale, breath down for two. Exhale, breath up, two. Inhale, breath down. Exhale, breath up. Inhale, squat. And push through the floor with your heels, pressing firmly in through the heels. Do one more, kind of slow. Inhale, breath down, down. Exhale, up and up. Now give me eight reps quickly. Down up eight. Seven, six, five, <sighs> next you're going to go down halfway up for eight. So we go down halfway up eight, halfway up seven, don't go all the way to straight, six, <sighs> one more. Good, now all the way down and up for eight reps. Here we go. Seven. Good, one more time, down halfway up, eight reps, let's go. Down halfway up, eight. Seven. one and then all the way down and up for eight reps again here we go seven and six and one 
Good job. Kick it out. Shake it out. Drop those. Grab just one dumbbell or one kettlebell, this time a little heavier. Get yourself a sip of whatever emergency. Green tea. <laughs> Ginger tea. It could just be H2O. Good old water. All right. Goblet squats. So you could hold them here, I suppose, the dumbbell. But I kind of like holding it here. It allows you to go a little bit deeper. And it's more comfortable close to the body, in close to the chest. Ready, go. We're going to squat. Down and up. Down and up. Just two more. Inhale, squat. Exhale, breath up. Inhale, squat. Exhale up. Now pulse for eight in the bottom zone. Let's go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Now all the way up, down for four, three, two, and then one. Now pulse again for eight. Every other, you can do the jump. You could be jumping all eight, all three sets. Ready, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then all the way down and up for four. Down up for three. Inhale, exhale, two. And then one. And then last set. Here we go. Eight pulses again. However you want to do. Just pulsing, jumping every other, or jumping every. Ready, go. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All the way up, down for four, three, two, and one. All right, drop it down. Kick it out, shake it out. Okay, next set of weights. Grabbing the 15s here. So let me show you something you can do. I just kind of thought of this. But, you know, sometimes I'll use a ramp to elevate the heels a little bit. You could actually step on top of your ankle weights because they're usually a little bit elevated, right? So let's just try that. If you've got those close by, go ahead and just make yourself a perfect little line like that. Grab your dumbbells, pick them up properly, <laughs> and then just heel here, heel here. Yeah. So not too much of an elevation, just a slight, it's like a wedge, like you're wearing a wedge. Okay, shoulders back and down. Tuck the tail under, firm the belly. Here we go slowly for the first eight. Inhale, breath down. Exhale, breath up. <sighs> Inhale, down. A little faster. Here we go. Down up for eight. Down up for seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. One. Now go down and pulse for eight. No jumping here. Just pulse in fast. Here we go. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. And four. Three. Two, one, stand all the way up. Eight single reps, go. Single time reps, eight. Come on, seven. Let's do one more pulse for eight in the bottom zone. It's eight and seven, six, five, four, three, lower, lower, two, lower, one, and then all the way up. Whew. Let's do four singles. Down up for four. Inhale, exhale, three, two, one more. All the way up. Very good. Kick it out. Shake it out. You should be breathing kind of heavy, kind of fast. Heart rate's maybe up. Swing it out, swing it out. And Okay, so these are kind of an interesting 
type of a lunge. It's going to be more functional. I want you to imagine that you dropped something on the floor, which I seem to be doing a lot of lately. <laughs> and then having to get down and look and find whatever it is. And I don't know about you, but for me, it seems like every time I drop something on the floor, it's just amazing. It never drops in plain sight. Like there it is. I've got to get down and look and look and look. It's like it found the best hiding place ever to put itself. I don't know why it happens every time, you know, under a cabinet, under the edge of the carpet, something like that. It's just never in the middle of the floor. So I don't get that. All right. So we've got the right hand holding the kettlebell or dumbbell, left foot front, right foot back here, but not, it's not like you're all positioned for a lunge. Okay. It's more like this is a kickstand and we are going to reach down. This hand can stay right here. You're going to reach down and touch right there in front of your toe, your foot, and then come up. So we're doing 10 of those. So down 10. Most of the weight stays here on that front leg. Just two more, all that weight, primarily on that front leg. One more, reach for the floor and then come up and then we just switch. So this hand can go here. This is like a kickstand back there. It's not way back where you're gonna lunge down and up like that. You are literally bending at the hips and leaning over to get whatever off of the floor. This is functional, right? This is going to prepare us for stuff we really need to do in our daily lives. Ready, go. Down there to the floor. You're looking for it. And then up. And we go down. We go up. One more. Good. And then switch. We're going to do one more. This time a little bit more in sort of a curtsy position. So toes slightly turned out. This leg a little bit crossed back behind. Okay. And then we're going to go here, even across the midline of the body with that arm, with that kettlebell. One, two, three. One more and then up and then we switch and now we sort of turn out a little bit. So it's like you're making a diamond shape with your legs. When you bend, the knees are going outwards a bit. Here we go, down and up. One more, come on, reach for the floor and then bring it up. Good job. Kick it out, shake it out. Okay, you're gonna grab another set of weights, heavier or heaviest if you've got. I have 20s, gonna use those. I'm gonna pick them up carefully. Okay, and then feet up on your ramp if you want, or in this case, stepping on those ankle weights. All right, here we go. Inhale, breath down for two. And then exhale, breath up for two. Inhale, breath down. Exhale, breath up. Squat. And then bring it up. Do one more for 10. Take it down and then take it up. Down and pulse 10 times. Here we go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, and 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Come all the way up. Four singles. Here we go. Squat and then up four. Inhale down. Exhale three. And then one, now this time you're gonna go down, you're gonna drop the weights, you're gonna stand up for four, and three, and two, 
and one. Now, squat, grab the weights, four with weights. Ready, go. Squat, and lift up for four. Inhale, exhale, three. One more. Good, go down and drop them. And we do four, we do three, we do two. Should feel easy, right? Just nothing. Another set. Grab them and head up. Here we go, four, and three, and two, and one. Go down and drop them. Last set, four, three, two, and one. Yay! Kick it out, kick it out. And then inhale, arms up. Exhale, open out. Interlace behind the back, chest out, chin up, inhale. Exhale, scoop the belly in, round the back. One more, inhale up. Exhale, open out. Interlace, lift. Exhale, round. Okay, swing it out. Swing it out, swing it out, swing it out. Okay, grab one more time with the kettlebell or the one dumbbell. I'm gonna get my heavier one, the green, right here. So now we're gonna add a little upper body. It's okay, we can do some upper body. So feet wide apart, reach for the floor so you're touching the kettlebell right there in between. Your head is up, your back is flat, your butt is back, and then you're gonna press all the way up over your head there. So inhale, squat. Exhale, breath up. Eight more. Good. Now bring the kettlebell or dumbbell right here. Squat, jump for eight, or just pulse, ready? Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, all the way up, and down for four, down up, four, inhale, and exhale, three. One more, and up all the way, good job. Okay, drop the kettlebell down, you got your hands, you got your legs, knee, just nice and loose. Swing your arms. Okay, time to put these guys on. So you might have to have a sit on the floor or sit in a chair. We are gonna start with a few standing up exercises with the ankle weights and then we'll bring it all the way down. So these are five pounds. I don't know what you've got, but load it up. Load it up. We only do lower body once a week, so you got plenty of time to recover and heal and repair. So go for it. That's kind of the theory I have with these, uh, you know, body part workouts one day a week is that, you know, you've got plenty of time to recover. So it's not like you need to preserve and conserve your energy and do a little less than what you're capable of. No, go for it with your best effort. Okay. Now, standing up, <laughs> and now you've got like a ball and chain on your legs. That's what it feels like. But again, don't walk with these things on. Don't try to do cardio. Don't try to jog. Don't try to ride a bike or anything like that with ankle weights on. You only use these to do very specific isolated exercises designed to strengthen, chisel, tone your lower body not to do cardio. If you wanna do cardio with extra weight, put on a backpack or wear one of those vests, the weighted vests that have similar type little uh, packets full of sand that weigh a pound each or half a pound. All right. <clears throat> so think standing Pilates a little bit. What we're gonna do is shift all the weight into one leg. We're gonna do 10 circles one way, 
with the leg directly to the side, 10 the other way, and then we're gonna come right away to here and finish with knee extensions. So when you're doing the extension, you're keeping the thigh out there, you're squeezing the quad every time you straighten that leg out, and then we'll switch and go to the other leg. So if you need to hold on to couch, chair, wall, feel free to do that. That's totally okay. Just don't be like leaning on it with total support. You want to depend mostly on your own body uh, balancing mechanisms to stay steady here. Okay, so shift the weight into the right leg, slight bend in the right knee, float this leg up, and here we go. Circle around 10, nine. You're trying to minimize movement from here up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and then one, now we go back the other way. It's 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And then right away, bring the knee here. Stay right there. It's almost like you've got it draped over something. And then kick it out. 10, nine, eight, seven, and six. Standing strong on that right leg, four. And three, and two. Now hold your legs straight here. Touch down and lift, touch down and lift. Eight more, come on, it's seven, six. Let's go, five, exhale, four, and three, and two, and one, and then step down. Flat back melting down, inhaling. Exhale, rolling up to the very top. Do it again, inhale, flat back down. Exhale, scoop your belly in and roll it up to the top. Two more of those, inhale, flat back down. Exhale, round the spine all the way up. Again, inhale, flat back down. Exhale, roll it up. Okay, let's do the other side. I don't wanna kick the wall, so I'm just gonna flip around here. And then you're gonna shift all the weight into that left leg. Tap the right toe directly to the side. Leg is straight, kneecaps facing forwards. Here we go, it's 10, nine, eight, Seven, hold this from here up is still six, five, four, three, two, one. Go back the other direction. It's five. Five more, four more, three, two, one. And then hold the knee here. Let's go. Kick it out. Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five, four, three. Squeeze those quads. Two. Hold the leg straight on one. Just touch the toe down. It's like a tendu. Bottom on tendu. Ten. Up. Nine. And eight. Seven. One more. Hold it there. And then step down and melt down. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, scoop and roll it up to the top. Again, inhale down. Exhale, roll. Inhale down. Exhale, roll. One more. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, roll it up. Okay. One more set of standing and then we'll take it down to the floor to finish with butt blaster and inner thighs. So here, it's simply hip abduction, meaning the leg just lifts and comes back in. So just, again, think standing Pilates. Imagine you're lying on your side on the floor. So ready? We're going to go. Point that toe out. Ready? Go. 10, 9, 8, 7. Stand tall. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, now 10, double time tempo, go 10 and 9, 8 and 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, hold it up there on 1, woohoo, inhale, flat back down, exhale, scoop and roll it up, inhale, flat back down, exhale, round the back as you're coming up, and then one more time, pushing the hips back, flat, melting down, and then scoop your belly and roll it up to the top. Okay, other side, shift the weight onto that left leg and tap your right toes out there to the side. Let's go, slowly up 10, nine, eight, four, 
four more slowly. Now 10 quickly in the upper range and nine, eight and seven, six and five and four, three, two, hold it up on one, hi yi yi and then step down, hi inhale down, you go with a flat back, exhale, scoop your belly in and roll it up, inhale, flat back down, exhale, roll it up, one more, inhale down, and then exhale, roll it up, all the way up with your arms, and open out, and roll it around, shake it out. Okay, so next you're gonna get your mat out. We're gonna come down onto all fours, so on your hands and your knees. Coming into tabletop position. <laughs> okay, are you ready? So here we're just gonna go for time. I got my little timer watch. That way I can talk to you and not have to be counting, counting, counting. I get tired of counting, counting, counting. And I know you probably get tired of me counting. Plus, I don't even count properly all the time. I admit. Sorry. Okay. Bring your left knee to the center. Elbows out. So if you were to make a triangle, that knee is right there at the bottom. Stretch the right leg out. Make sure when the leg goes up that you don't like sag in the back and over arch that back. That's going to hurt. So do your best to pull the abs in and maintain a fairly straight back. It's not about how high this leg lifts. It's more about just going to parallel and super engaging that right glute. Are you ready? Inhale breath. And let's go, exhale up and down. Leg lifts up and lower down. And lift and lower. <sighs> Inhale on the down, exhale on the up. <sighs> Don't let your head hang heavy. Keep your eyes kind of gazing right a little bit beyond the edge of the mat. That'll be a good alignment for your head position. Almost there, we got 10 seconds. Lift up and lower down, lift it up and lower down, and lift it up and lower down, and exhale, lift, do one more lift, hold it there, good, and then bring your knee in, and then push your hips back, coming into extended child's pose stretch. Good. All right, so we're going to go through these exercises and then we'll do all the stretching there at the end. So don't worry, we're going to get a good glute pigeon stretch coming up in a moment. Okay. Let's do the other leg. Are you ready? Come back onto your elbows, bring that right knee so it's in the center, and then extend the leg back. Let's go. Exhale, inhale down. Exhale, lift. Inhale, touch the toes down. <sighs> Try to keep your hips level. In other words, don't let that left one roll up. Don't let your hips sink left or right. Just try to do your very best to keep your back straight and the hips and shoulders level and even with the floor. Inhale down, exhale, breath up. Inhale, exhale. <sighs> Connect your mind to the muscle. It's this set of gluteus Maximus, medius, minimus, all those muscles contracting and engaging together. Hold it there. Good, and then bring it down. hi yeah, 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 and then push on back. All right, get back in position. Let's go with the right leg this time. It's going to be donkey kick. So you're gonna bend the knee, let that kneecap touch the calf muscle there and then push up and lower down. Exhale, push, inhale, drop. Exhale, foot goes straight up to the ceiling. Again, don't over arch that back and the leg goes up. So you don't need to lift it so super high. It's about squeezing super hard those right glutes right there and then drop. Exhale, push, inhale, drop. Let's do two more slow, up, 
down, up. Now fast tempo to finish, press up and up, small and tight, push your foot to the ceiling, exhale up and up and push, push, four, three, two, and one, yay, and then come down and push your hips back into child's pose, stretch again, wonderful stretch for your back. All right, and we got one more side. So set that right knee in the middle, bring your elbows out. And then the kneecap is gonna touch the calf right there. And here we go, push and lower down. Don't over arch that back when your leg goes up. Exhale, press, inhale, drop. Exhale, press, inhale, drop. Come on, push it up and drop it down. Super contract right there. That's where the max contraction is at the very top of the movement. Lower slowly, exhale, push, inhale down. Let's go four more slow. Exhale, three and up two and up one. Now fast presses up and up and push, push. Keep it up there in that higher zone. Keep pressing up, sole of the foot to the ceiling. Press and press, here we go. Last four and three and two. Hold it up on one. Good, and then bring your knee down and push on back into child stretch. Okay, flip over onto your right hip. Let's finish up with a quick inner thigh exercise. So you can do this one of two ways. You can set your foot behind the leg there. Just the only problem with this, not that it's really a problem, but the tendency might be to roll back like this and then it becomes a quadricep exercise. I kind of prefer stacking this leg over here like that and then it's less likely that you're gonna roll back. Also, I would recommend coming all the way down here on your side so that your spine's not, you know, all crooked and compressed. Okay, are you ready? Flex that right foot, let's go. You're gonna take the inner thigh up to the ceiling and then drop. So we lift, drop, lift, drop. Maintain a certain amount of core engagement here. So you're drawing the navel in to the spine. You're even feeling your obliques, just kind of statically, isometrically contract here. As you are lifting your leg up and down and lower. Exhale up, inhale down, exhale up, inhale down. Almost there. Let's go faster. Up and up and lift. Lift small and tight. Exhale, lift. Go five, go four, three and two. Hold it up on one. And then lower the leg down. Ay, 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 ay. Let's just go into this wonderful torso rotation stretch. So we're opening up the chest to the ceiling, looking over that shoulder to the back. Good, return back to the front and then push yourself up and let's swing your legs around to the other side. I say that, that's not so easy to do when you got five pound kettlebells <laughs> attached to your ankles. Ball and chain. Okay, stretch that left leg out. So again, this inner thigh muscle, it's lifting directly up to the ceiling. So don't roll here like that. Flex your foot. I would recommend setting this one in front like that and then come all the way down here onto your side, but prop your head up with your hand. Okay. Are we ready on your marks? Wait a minute. Hold on. This isn't ready. Okay. On your mark, get set, go up and down. Leg lifts, lower it down. Exhale, lift, inhale, drop. So I woke up this morning with, I think, not pink eye, but like a sty. Feels like I've got rocks inside my eyelid and it hurts. So if any of you know a cure for that, you know, a warm compress, I've been putting that on my eye. But 
it hurts and I don't have my contact in, so I'm kind of like trying to see. <laughs> I can kind of see, but not really. So probably somebody said maybe wearing a mask that, you know, too many times, sometimes this stuff in there can get in your eye, maybe cause infection, I don't know. I'm sure it'll go away on its own eventually, but if you've got a solution to speedy cure it up, then let me know. Hold it here faster. Go eight, seven, and six, and five, four, and three, and two, and one. Ah, let it down. Woohoo! Open up your chest to the ceiling as you drop this arm behind you. Let this knee drop down. We're going to do one more set for those inner thighs, and then we will stretch it all out. Good, and then return back to the front. Oh, push yourself up, and let's just swing those legs back around to the other side. Let's go. Right leg, last set. Um, like I said, can't see. <laughs> okay, bring that foot in front on your marks, get set. Here we go, so the leg lifts and it lowers down, leg up and down. Flex your foot so you're pulling those toes back towards you, inner thigh lifting right up to the ceiling. Do not rest your leg down, just lift and then hover right there. Every time you stop and rest, it's just that much longer before we get back to the point of fatigue. I know sometimes I'll do the squats with weights, squats without, squats with, squats without, but we're doing a lot more reps and it's just to get that good form back. Every time you get super tired, sometimes your form gets sloppy. So then doing a few reps without the resistance, and that goes uh, for saying on all the other machines that you might be doing in a gym, if you were to do, say, lat pull downs, you would do one or two super heavy and then one without, just kind of mimic the movement. Here we go up, eight fast, seven, six, and five, four, three, two, and then one, and then lower down, hi yi yi Bring this knee down and then open up your chest to the ceiling. Good, now turn back to face the front and then push yourself up. One more side, just walk, 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 your feet over to the right side here. Come on down to your hip on the left. Bring this foot in front and let me get my watch all set up. Because this way, I'm looking at it upside down. See, I need help. <laughs> I gotta get my glasses out, which I'm not used to using. I like using that contact lens. It's a monovision. You just wear one and it does basically what reading glasses do. So instead of on, off, on, off, breaking an arm, sitting on them, losing them, not being able to find them, it's nice to have that contact lens in there. Okay, last set on your marks. Get set, let's go. Leg up and down, leg up and then drop. Inner thigh lifting up to the ceiling and lower. Foot is flexed so those toes are pulled back this way. And you're gonna feel a little engagement here in your obliques. Engage those core muscles. Think navel towards your spine. Lift and lower, lift and lower. Exhale up, inhale down. Almost there, come on, lift up, lower down. Exhale, lift, inhale, drop. So we want to strengthen all the muscles surrounding the hip complex, the hip and the pelvis, all those muscles attaching in there. So we've got strong hips, strong lower body. Let's go fast, tempo up eight and seven, six, five, four and three, up two, up one, and then lower down. Good job. Open up your chest to the ceiling, press this knee down with that arm and then just stretch as you look over that right shoulder to the back. Good, and then return back to face the front and you're gonna push yourself up to a sit and then you can take your ankle weights off.
And let's do some stretching, shall we? For all those muscles that we have just worked. Did a lot of squats, did some lunging, did all the quadricep exercises. Okay, so let's first start in a straddle sit position. Doesn't have to be your max uh, flexibility there, but just place your hands here in front. And to start with, you're just gonna lean from left to right. So as you lean, I want you to kind of lift this arm up, think elbow up towards the ceiling there, and then hand down, elbow to the ceiling, and inhale, and then exhale. Inhale, and then exhale breath. Inhale, so you might notice, the more we go, you get a little more flexible, range of motion starts to increase as you start to loosen up. So don't try to force anything, you just go side to side, and wherever your body goes, that's just where it's gonna go. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Good, now this time, inhale, breath, exhale, lift the elbow up and then extend the arm over. Notice the deeper stretch in your lateral torso. Good, come on up, inhale, and then exhale, elbow up and then stretch that arm out. So just the weight of the arm alone increases that stretch all the way down into your hip. Good, and then inhale, breath up. And let's kind of shake the legs out a little bit closer to the center here. And then you're gonna walk over here to the right leg, come onto the outside of the leg with this left hand, and then stretch this arm beyond, however far you can go. And this arm comes to the back and look over your shoulder to the back. Good, and then come back up, inhale. Same thing over here. So bring the arm to the outside of your leg. As that arm reaches across towards the foot, this arm reaches to the back. And then look over your shoulder there. Good, and then come back up, inhale. And then exhale, slide the hands forwards, coming into a straddle stretch. Good, and then come on up, bring your hands back here. Shake your legs out to the center. <clears throat> bring your right foot to the back of your thigh. Allow that knee to drop down however far it goes. Right arm stretches up, inhale. Exhale again, reach across the midline there. Try to come to the outside of this leg, however far you can go. And then just stretch over here towards the knee. Once again, stretch that left arm behind you. Good, and then come back up. I want you to grab a hold of your ankle, however you want to grab a hold. So it's kind of like that cradle the baby that we sometimes do in yoga. Flex your foot, so pull those toes back that way. That will protect your knee. And then you can hook the arms under and then just kind of rock and move that shin across the body and out to the side, back and forth. Maybe you're searching for a sweet spot where it's like, oh yeah, that's where the stretch feels best. And like you need it there probably if that's what you're feeling. And then just hug that shin in close to the body, sit tall, inhale. Exhale it out. Good job, all right, so from there, set your foot down. You're gonna roll over onto your left hip. You're gonna grab a hold of your ankle. You're gonna stretch your quadricep as you pull that thigh back behind you. You can set the foot and the knee down and then just kind of lean back towards your foot here. So as you do that, you're gonna feel a wonderful stretch across the quadricep muscles, the hip flexors, and then deep inside there is the psoas muscle. It actually attaches about here it kind of goes up through the center of the pelvis and then it wraps around and attaches on that lumbar spine. So sometimes if you've got lower back pain, it could be a tight psoas muscle, which is really hard to get to because of you know that configuration I just tried to explain. All right, and then just come back, kick that leg out straight, and then just shake, 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 shake. Good, now let's bend this knee. So set your foot to the back of your thigh. Let the knee drop down. Inhale, left arm comes up. And then exhale, reach across the midline here. This arm is gonna stretch to the back there as you reach down over your leg. <sighs> Good. 
Good, slowly come back up. And then you're gonna grab a hold of your ankle, cradle the baby. So it may be that you just do this, and this alone right here is enough stretch for you. That's fine, just stay there. But the more you come up with your leg towards your chest, it's gonna be deeper. You can come underneath like that. Make sure you flex your foot, pull your toes back. The reason for that is it activates your anterior tibialis muscle, which will help stabilize the knee so it's not all loosey-goosey and torquing in there. We don't want that. Even if you don't feel pain, we want to do our best to prevent pain. Okay, rock a little bit from over here to the right, over to the left, just kind of back and forth across the body. And kind of pull that shin in. Sit super tall, inhale. Exhale it out. Good. And then it. Good, and then coming back up, let's come over into tabletop position here, and then stretch the legs a little bit farther back that way, hands right out under, not exactly under, but a little bit in front of your shoulders. Inhale, belly drops, head up, and then on the exhale, push back, rounding your spine, scooping the belly, chin to the chest, head to the mat. And then as you round the spine to come up, let's let your hips drop a little more this time and then lift the head and chin up. And then exhale, scoop and round. One more time, inhale, belly drops, head up. And then exhale, round back. Good, and then come up into plank, inhale. Exhale, pigeon stretch. So drop your right knee down, extend that leg to the back, and then walk, walk, walk your hands out here in front of you, however far you can go that way. Or just drop your head down to the mat, maybe stack the hands and rest your forehead there. job and then hands come right there beside the knee head and chest up tuck your toes under and then just step back inhale exhale bring your left knee right there in between the hands drop that back knee down and then just walk out here in front dropping your head and your chest down <laughs> Bring the hands right back beside your knee. Lift the head and the chest up, tuck your toes under, and then let's step on back into a downward facing dog stretch. Then you drop down onto the forearms, taking it into dolphin stretch. So sit bones are up, calf muscles getting a wonderful stretch. Inhale breath, exhale out. Good, now stretch those arms out straight. Press the hips up, chest back, inhale. Exhale. Good job, now step so that you are in a straddle stance here on your mat. And we're gonna take it into a side lunge. So it may be that if you're up here, you just go that far and that's fine. You wanna feel a stretch somewhat in this one, but majority of the stretch is gonna be felt in this straight leg. So if you can come down even more, stretching here, do that. 
Good. Now straighten that right leg out. Come up, inhale, exhale. So once again, you could be up kind of high like this. Wonderful stretch there. A little bit here, but mostly here. Maybe come down more, 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 more. However far down you want to go, just take it to the deep stretch for you. Oh, feels so good. And then stretch out both legs straight. Inhale, half lift. And then exhale, come on down into a straddle forward fold. Good. And then half lift again. Inhale. And then exhale. Walk, walk, walk your feet all the way together. And then we're going to drop your hips and lift your head up here. Hands come up on the quads and then round the back, pull the belly in, spread the shoulders apart. Inhale, flat back, look up. Exhale, round. <sighs> Inhale, flat back. And then exhale, breath round your back, hold it here. Let the arms release and then straighten the legs and then slowly roll it all the way up to the top. And then come all the way up with your arms, inhale. And then exhale, breath. Stretch your triceps as you bend the elbow and sink over to the right. Inhale, breath up. Exhale, bend this arm and stretch your triceps. <sighs> inhale up. Exhale, lower down. I don't know what we did Monday, but my triceps are killing me. 